Oh, it says dinner coming through. Yes. We arrived in Puerto Montt a few days ago and it promptly rained for three days straight, which is cool. I got in the ocean once, somewhere over there in a uh, totally don't go swimming here location. And we're staying, I don't know, somewhere like half a mile up that direction. This is the area where I can afford an island. And it's cold. Eh, it's not terribly cold. But this is the middle of the summer. And it's pretty chilly out. Uh, it's helping that the sun is out today. But the last few days have been pretty miserable and cold. Hopefully that's not always the way it is. And when I say pretty miserable, I mean the weather's been pretty miserable. Not me. I mean, I'm fine. But just thinking about wanting to be able to grow things, looking for a new house or a new piece of land to build a house. And I would like it to be on an island down here, but... Yeah, so like growing bananas and avocados would be mighty tricky here. I can build a greenhouse and all that then I still need sun. Or at least a good artificial sun source. Because there is lots of wind. Yeah, it's been windy since we got here, which is great. Because like, sailboats would be flying around like crazy, which would be awesome. Oh, I could get a windsurfer and go anywhere. And like, put up a windmill and get lots of electricity. I know it's called a wind generator, but I'm still calling it a wind generator. So all that stuff is fine. Just growing stuff. With not as much sun, it's tricky. Well, we're still in this area for at least another week, so we get more of a taste of the weather. And right now I'm gonna see if I can get over there and jump in the water. The only tricky part is this bay goes really far that way, so I'm gonna have to run all the way around. Oh, check out these huge anchors. Just for scale reference, Jamie's are about six feet tall, maybe a little over. I just remembered, I don't think I have time to run all the way around to the ocean over there because I'm supposed to talk to a guy today who owns an island. So I guess I should actually be there for that. But I don't know when he's coming. He said he'll call before he comes. And I was like, I have time to go running right. Anyway, I better get back, check if he called. All right, bye. Here's a better shot of the uh, area, a little bit away from the water. The houses just go up on these little cliffs. And we're staying in one, not all, somewhere right up there. Here's the joint we're staying. I love how it's just got like some metal scaffolding holding up this whole huge front part of the place. You'd never get a permit for that in the States, and it would never pass inspection. But it's, it's totally strong. It's got huge steel posts. Pretty sweet, man. Here's the view from the place we're staying. There's a quick shot of Puerto Mont. At least this area. You can see mountains off in the distance there. They look quite nice. One thing I'm not enjoying is TV's on all the time. God, giant TV. I hate TV's on all the time. Especially when they're super loud. They're really loud. What did the sheep say to the chicken? Both. Nice cows. Only in Nice bull. Everything's cool. Hey, little baby cow. Hey, stay there, Rib. Right there, Bob. There's a volcano in those clouds there. 
Whoa, look at these giant birds. I bet if we go over there, they'll do some flying for us. Or they might peck at our heads and try to eat our faces. Aurora, are there people at the park already? No. Are you sure? Look at all those sheep. There's a black sheep. That's cool. He must get hot in the sun. So do you think they'll let us play on the swings too? Looks like they're doing a good job of mowing the grass. That's very considerate. Thank you, sheep. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah. Or say sun. Sun. Say Sam. Sun. Say Sam. Sun. What? Dumb. What are you saying? Dumb. Dumb? No, dumb. Dumb? Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> There's a sheep going after the baby. <laughs> the sheared sheep. Oh, nice sliding. Sheep say when it's being eaten. Exactly. Holy cow, it's gorgeous up in this joint. What, you want to live in a house with that stuff? Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm in southern Chile right now looking for a new place to live. And I've determined that I think I want to go to another part of the world to check it out next. Uh, it doesn't mean Chile's totally off the table. There are some really awesome parts of the culture here. And there are also some disturbing parts of the culture here. Well, I, there's like two cultures. One is awesome and one is not awesome. Now the awesome culture in Chile is Chile is like the guy on the street corner who's selling cheese that he made for like less than it costs in the giant grocery store behind him and the giant grocery store is selling like cardboard crappy cheese and he's selling delicious tastiness that he made it's fresh you know he just made it, it hasn't been in a in the store for eight months like this junk behind him i'm loving that but those guys are are hard to find and from what i understand it's becoming harder and harder to find that that guy the street vendor don't buy directly from the farm because it hasn't been prepackaged and sanitized and you might get sick. Oh, oh. Now this, that brings me to one of the, the serious problems with Chile. And a lot of this is, is coming from discussions I've had with Chileans who are expressing concern about their own culture. But it, it has become fashionable to emulate, you know, Western culture, to, to be like the United States or Europe. So they're watching TV, and it's... Yeah, there's sheep back there. And it's like telling them, you know, what to do. And once, once TV starts telling you what to do, once that becomes cool and fashionable, oh, this is a disaster. And, like, it's fashionable to shop at the Chilean Walmart, which is leader. That has become fashionable. It's more expensive than getting the stuff straight from the... Oh, getting the fresh stuff. It's, it's more expensive to shop at Walmart. It's the, it is the expensive option here. But it has become fashionable, and that's what people are doing. One of the things that is allowing this problem to perpetuate itself is that the economy is booming. So there's lots of money here. So that's bringing in all these shady business people from other parts of the world who are like, wow, wow, wow. There's this little country down in South America that's got lots of money. Let's get in there and get a piece of that action. So, so Walmart's moving in like crazy and McDonald's and all this stuff that I, I don't want to, ugh. Anyway. So that's making me think maybe I need to go to a place that's more, more broke, more poor. Cause the, the, but then there's the lower class who have all this culture and just amazing stuff going on. And it's funny, you, you get the best food with the most broke people which is 
seems counterintuitive, but if you look at the way the, the money is being used in our world right now, it makes perfect sense.